It was a sunny morning when Cripps, Targus' travelling companion, alerted her that the goods were ready for sale in town. Not much of a haul. The hunt went bad. There was already too much competition in the heartlands, so the two hunters moved to the grizzlies. The hunting dog Argos stayed to guard the camp, even if Cripps didn't seem happy about it. Cripps was a strange fellow, but he did his job well. Cripps prepared the prey that Dargo had killed in order to achieve better prices on the market. He stuffed holes in hides, tanned leather or prepared meat and guts for sale. Today, however, Dargo would only bring small supplies to the market, perhaps a few claws and the herbs that she had gathered around the camp last evening. Everything seems to be ready and Tima, the fateful horse, seems to be looking forward to movement. Let's go boy, she said when she stroked his neck, which he commented with a snort. As Dargo left the camp, she still heard the usual grumbling from the old Cripps. She didn't even know whether he was upset about the horse or dog poop. As soon as her face was turned away, she smirked widely. Oh no, Dargo thought, as she heard the wolves howling. She was ready to shoot, but avoided unnecessary bloodshed. Dargo had to sell the stuff and didn't want to waste time, so she quickly escaped. It's getting worse, she whispered worriedly as she tried to control the stressed horse. How much longer are we going to go on like this? The thoughts in her head haunted her the rest of the way to Valentine. If you want to know how Dargo is doing in Valentine, check out the next video. Thank you for watching!